So I just changed my shirt and only realized afterward, yep, that is a very open window right next to an apartment building. If they want more, they're going to have to pay, and I don't come cheap. But now I'm preparing to leave the house because I have to deposit a check, pick up some mail, and also... FULFILL MY DESTINY! Alright, so like every citizen of the web, I remember reading about the Double Down when it was introduced into test markets at KFC, and like everyone else, I was horrified. Granted, it looks delicious, but that's actually part of the problem. They're kind of like weapons of mass destruction in that, if they exist, you'd kind of like to have them in order to protect your country, but we'd all be better off if it didn't exist. Similarly, it looks delicious and I want to eat it, but I think we'd all be better off if it just hadn't been invented to begin with. I think the UN should introduce a ban on all deep-fried food developments. There should be no experimentation allowed if a deep fryer is involved. But we all know how well the UN works. For example, we all know that the UN's 1980 Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons having indiscriminate effects bans the development of blinding laser weapons, and I certainly didn't watch a documentary on that exact subject on the Discovery Channel a few months ago. So if anyone sees this and you happen to have a line to the UN, see if they can ban deep fried food development. And while you do that, I'm gonna go buy a double down. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hi, welcome to Steve's Jackson's. I have your order, please. Hi, could I get a double down meal, please? The meal or just a sandwich? A uh, whole meal. Brought over, it'll get two years to have a patio, we say. 10 16, and it's gonna be a couple of minutes on your life. Should I park, or? Right there in front of the door. Don't go too far, because it's cold. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? Okay, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great night. You too. Alright, so here we are at the end of my quest. The double down. I'll just videotape my reaction to the first bite and then I'm going to eat this in peace because I don't want to have to hold this camera the whole time. For those of you who are unfamiliar, basically the Double Down is essentially a cheese and bacon sandwich, but instead of bread, it uses two chicken breasts. It sounds at least half as gross as it tastes. But it's the good tasting gross. Alright, bye now. It's a day later, I'm still alive, and I'm just finishing up editing the Double Down adventure, and I thought I would take this moment to insert something. The Globe and Mail ended up having an interesting article on the Double Down in the paper today, and I found it online so that I can put the link in the video description, so definitely check that out. And I also realized that I didn't exactly give a verdict on the Double Down, and my verdict is, is that it's not going to last, probably. I think that the only reason the Double Down got this far is because of its publicity. I mean, aside from the health concerns, it doesn't taste that great, it's just salt, 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 salt. I could taste a hint of chicken, but I couldn't taste the bacon at all. And the only indication that I got that there was any cheese on it was the fact that I could see it and the texture was there. Anyways, not saying that I won't get another one just to confirm my verdict, but it's really not that great. Alright, bye again. What? Yes, I'm wearing a blanket. It's my editing cape. Don't you have one? Amateurs. In hindsight, I don't know if I should have brought a camera on this adventure. My mother might eventually see this video, and I would quite literally rather her find me in bed naked with a man than see me eat that. Up next in the life of Joshua, a lecture about my family's history of heart disease.